And I thought EA couldn't stoop any lower than this. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Charlie Rose and today we are here with another trailer review for The Sims 4 Kits. You heard that right, The Sims 4 Kits. They're just trying to get more money out of us, as usual. You know, nothing new, ZA. Now, um, <clears throat> I don't know what is sexual themes in this. I have watched the trailer once. I did record this video once, but it didn't record, so I'm doing it again. So now I'm more riled up than I was in the first video. But uh, I'm going to watch the trailer ones through and then I'll skip back and I'll let you guys, uh, I'll let my thoughts out. I'll let what I think out. So uh, here we go. So there we go. That was it. Are you disappointed? Because I am. <laughs> so I'm going to mute the trailer and we're going to go back through and I'm going to pause at points that I think need to be discussed because, oh my gosh, there is a lot. Bite-sized packs, big possibilities. Yeah. Okay. So we have the throwback fit kit. Now, the clothes are nice. I do have to say one thing about this. This looks very, very similar to something we, well, a lot of things we already have in game, but something we got from the university pack. I think that's where it was from. Anyway, a lot of the clothing kind of just looks like remeshed stuff that we already have in the game, if that makes sense. I don't agree with it. I think they could have gone so much bigger with the designs. The only reason they've put this style into the game is because this style in real life is coming back into fashion. And with it coming back into fashion, um, they're going to try and get as much money out of this game as possible by adding it into the game, hoping people who are interested in this style will want to play the game. If you understand what I mean, then I'm not explaining very well. I'm very annoyed. <laughs> but a lot, is, uh, a lot is coming out right now. But I do not agree with the clothing. I don't hate, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. I don't see its purpose whatsoever. But I do think it is a big cash grab. So now we have the country kitchen kit. I really want to say stuff. It should have been a stuff pack, in my opinion. Because there's so much in it that could have been used in a stuff pack. It just doesn't seem like it could be a kit. Like the kitchen, beautiful, lovely. We have been asking for new kitchens for months, years even. And they just had to make it into a kit. Whoever authorised for kits to even be approved. I'm sorry, what? Why did you do this? You knew it was going to make the community mad. You don't listen to the community. All we wanted was generations, cars, and more interactions for babies. And they gave us kits. And I don't understand it. I don't understand EA's logic whatsoever. But let's talk about this kitchen. So we have some new accessories by the looks of it. A couple little ones here and there. The oven, lovely. Counters, lovely. The fridge, lovely. But can we talk about this gap? That's one thing that's been a pet peeve of mine in The Sims 4 for so long and I always have to use move objects to fix it. The gaps. The gaps that the fridges leave between the counters does not make sense. Just make them big enough to fit. It's not that difficult. But this one has got to be uh, the worst one yet because that is huge. <laughs> but um, I like the country kitchen. I just don't think it's worth the price tag, which I will get to later but I really don't think it's worth it. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. And here we go. She was literally just doing stuff from the base game. Look at the fridge gap. I'm, I'm so sorry. sorry. What is that? Whose fridge is that far away from their counters? Whose fridge? Because I'd love to know. This has got to be my favorite one yet. Bust the dust. Bust the dust. Kit. As you can see, floor's getting a little bit dirty. Oh, what? She's, she's even got dust bunnies that don't look like bunnies. They just look like piles of dust with eyes and... I, I, I really don't know. This, 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 <laughs> this though. What if that kid had asthma? What would he do? He's rubbing his face into a pile of dust. That's not sanitary. That's not safe. He could have an asthma attack. Imagine the coughing, the fits, the sneezes. I'm sorry. I just, I just don't, I don't, I don't see how you can pick up a dust bunny and give it a cuddle. Like just, just give it an old cuddle. Like, you know, it's, it's cute and I get it's a bunny, but it's still a pile of dust. And, uh, I, I don't understand where we're going, we're going with that one. Oh, they want more interactions for babies and kids and things. Let's make them interact with the dust bunny. Okay. <laughs> like look at them they just they're so weird looking oh this is the evil dust bunny i'm gonna assume roaming about and okay i am gonna turn the sound on for one minute because this sound beautiful sound <laughs> the way it gets sucked into the machine and makes that squeaking sound like if they're gonna be in your house i'd prefer them not to make noise I feel like they're making squeaking noises and roaming about and I haven't actually seen them move I've just seen them bounce up and down in one spot. So if they do that and don't move, I'll be quite unimpressed, but uh <clears throat> Hey ho, we will figure that out when we when we see the game But I, I just don't agree with it. I really don't I don't think this is anything more than a cash grab from EA your choice to hoover your house bust the dust kit like come on who is gonna pay five pounds or five dollars or seven dollars i think it might have been but five pounds for a kit with a hoover i don't understand it oh look four types of hoovers dust bunnies buy it now like who thought this was okay who literally sat in the boardroom and went you know what'd be great if we made a kit with hoovers and dust bunnies who said that and who said yes you know what we're gonna do that the community is gonna love it because i'll tell you now the community does not love it at all this was a big massive flop but um more ways for you to play with life hoover your living room get a kitchen and wear some really ugly clothing the sims 4 kits bye now it just it doesn't sell and i don't think it's great and i don't think the community well i know the community don't love it <laughs> this literally came out five hours ago and everyone in the comments is going crazy about it so i felt like i had to make this video i had to say something but um yeah that was my take on it so i have nothing else to say it doesn't even say when the release date is oh wait available now apparently well if you want these go and buy them but uh i'm actually gonna go and check after this and see see what's going on but i do not think i do not see myself needing these you could probably get most of this as custom content or mods from creators who work their butts off to make the sims 4 better than what the sims 4 creators can make it so if you guys did enjoy this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below it really helps out the channel a lot and hit the notification bell so you get notified every single time I upload a new video. And I will see you guys in the next one.